We end tonight with a young science whiz who saw a problem and invented a solution. It could prevent a lot of kids from getting sick. Here's Adriana Diaz. Outside Denver, a talented 12-year-old is getting national attention. It's not for her music. It's for Gatanjali Rao's contribution to science. If my mom asked me, what do you want for Christmas? I'd be like, lead. <laughs> That's right, lead, which Rao needed for an invention. Imagine living day in and day out, drinking contaminated water with dangerous substances like lead. Introducing Tethys, the easy to use, fast, accurate, portable, and inexpensive device to detect lead in water. She won a national competition for her invention, which was inspired by a real world problem. I've been following the Flint water crisis for about two years. In Flint, Michigan, nearly 100,000 people drank lead contaminated water for more than a year. Lead is mostly harmful to younger children. Um, about my age, giving them um, like growth defects and potentially damaging their brain. You live in Colorado. Why do you care so much about what's going on in Flint? That's not something that I want to go through, um, what the Flint residents went through. Our water quality is just as important as doctor appointments or dentist appointments. I've never tested my water. <laughs> That's a big problem. <laughs> With Rao's device, instead of taking days to send water samples to a lab, lead is detected in seconds using carbon molecules. I'm going to ensure that the Bluetooth is still blinking. And a mobile app. It looks like the water's safe. So. All right. Yeah. At school, she's one of many who love science, but one of the few who turned an idea into an invention, says teacher Simi Basu. I am so confident that she will be able to take it to the market if we keep providing her help. What is different about her? Uh, she's a risk taker, so she's not afraid to fail. What's your next project? I want to create a happiness meter, which uh, measures the amount of uh, serotonin in your body or um, the amount of gamma rays, and I still have to figure out how this works. Until then, the science world will be waiting. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Lone Tree, Colorado.